if God tells you to redirect, at least it's not going to be hard for God to redirect you. At least you're doing your best in, in whatever you're doing. If you could tell young Jason something, one, one piece of advice, just one piece of advice, um, what mm -hmm. would that piece of advice be? What helps me the most is just keep being curious. Keep mm. being curious. Curi cu that curiosity will will expose you to so many things, and then that's exciting when you when you receive that with open heart, with joy and glad that comes from the Lord. You know, it's just amazing to see like how it's gonna lead you. Right, just being curious. I know uh, people might say that, hey. Just listen to God's voice, you know, but also for me, like, I want to tell you that have that desire in your heart, you know, that desire to, to move forward, to plan ahead, you know, like as long as your heart in the right position, right? If God, if God tells you to redirect that direction, at least it's not going to be hard for God to redirect you. At least you're doing your best in, in whatever you're doing you're doing right now and then just keep being present i think mm -hmm. that's pretty much being curious and then stay present don't yeah don't think about what what the future might be i know i say like have a plan stuff like that just just living day by day you know like what you have right now in what in front of you right now mm -hmm. you know maybe you right now uh you have your in indonesia you know in high school maybe you have your national exam after this maybe Maybe even, even like uh, your preparation to something, right? And mm -hmm. then maybe right now you're with your family. Just mm -hmm. keep being present, loving those people. Keep pers keep pursuing what you what what talent you have or that curiosity. Keep keep fuel that curiosity, and then you're gonna be you're gonna be like surprised with what comes next. Like for this summer, man, I'm I'm always I'm always curious about how to play golf, you know, <laughs> and then and then I have to be honest with other people. Like I know somebody playing golf, and then ask them like, "Hey, can you teach me how to play golf?" And then that mm -hmm. person turns to be my golf coach here. And then I've been <laughs> yeah. I've been going to driving range, driving range, almost every day. And if you if you if you guys play golf here, you know, I think that's the hardest sport that you ever play. I know I play a lot of sports, soccer, tennis, even even until pickleball, you know. <laughs> but I know, yeah, pickleball, football is <laughs> fun. But golf, man, golf is like it's hard. That frustrates me. <laughs> the yeah. first week, the first week I went to driving range, I think I went like almost every day, hitting <laughs> almost like a hundred balls every day, yeah. and then I still couldn't hit couldn't hit anything. <laughs> you you would you would get you would get like some good swing, but it just like once after like thirty balls stuff like yeah that. yeah yeah and then and then I asked God like God is it you want me to quit from golf? <laughs> yeah, just is, right? is this my calling then, or not? <laughs> yeah, and then and then but the thing is like I keep pursuing that I keep mm. I keep uh persevering that you know and then and then if I look back right now with my golf skills I feel like man. God, so thankful that I keep doing this. I keep yeah. pursuing this, you know. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of areas right now that you you might you might feel in your heart, you know, like you're starting a new job, you're starting new school, and then you're starting something new, and then you're in the progress that you feel you're in the mundane area, and then you feel like you want to quit. Mm -hmm. Before quitting, just give your best in it. You'll mm -hmm. be surprised, right? And yeah. then, yeah, I mean, if you're not good in five years, maybe that you need to quit, but something like that. But <laughs> yeah, you, you still have to be honest with yourself. <laughs> yes, yes, 